got another winch out. Sounds like he went into the ditch last night or into the snow berm and got buried in it and just left it overnight. So we're gonna go up today, we're gonna pull him back onto the road. Then he should be good to drive it, so hopefully all goes well. But uh, I'll show you when we get there. See ya. So I got here now, and that truck is just really buried. That up, the uh, driver's side isn't too bad. It's still pretty high up, but that passenger side, you could tell they really dug in the tires pretty far. And you can see on the one side, he kicked up all that mud. So that means not only is it in, in the snow, but it's also in, deep into the mud if it could kick up that much mud on top of the snow. So just to be on the safe side, I don't want to start pulling and then get stuck and have to call it back up. I'm going to call back up right now. Uh, Terry's going to go get the bigger record. We're gonna bring that out here, so we're gonna get that position on the side of the, of the engine, because that's the heavier side. I'm gonna hook on the back of the truck if, if need be. I'm hoping that he can get it out by hooking onto the engine side with just the one truck. If not, I can use my record to hook onto the back side and get that lifted back into the road. Uh, he said it should still drive, so hopefully that's all we'll have to do is get it back into the center of the road. We'll drive it off the side and we'll be all set again. But uh, I'll let you know here in a second.
All right, since the first plan didn't work, we switched it up. We have them back straight up to the front of the truck, put two lines on the front bumper and lift the boom up real high. That way we can get a lift straight up into the air, hopefully break that suction. And luckily it broke free. Now that the heaviest part of the truck broke the suction and was starting to come up the road, then I could pull the back in as well. That way I get the back two tires straightened out while he pulled the front. It just slid the truck perfectly in the center of both vehicles. Once we got the truck back onto the road, we noticed that the front U-joint broke off. And that could have happened when he first got it stuck and they were trying to pull. But either way, he had no four wheel drive, but he was still able to drive it in two wheel. So we got him on the road, he pulled forward. And you'll see a part of that fell off when he drove forward. And he just picked it up, threw it in the back of his truck and was able to drive. The road had just enough snow that due to not having four-wheel drive anymore, the rear tires were just spinning. So we gave him one last pull forward and that way he was freed up onto the pavement.
Well, we got him out of there. But man, that thing was stuck in the snow. It was All right, we got him out of there. But man, that was stuck in the snow and mud bad. I mean, he left it overnight, so it kind of made a big suction cup kind of thing. Where once it's stuck in there, it doesn't want to come out. You have to kind of get enough lift on it to break that suction. And once it's broken, then it'll start coming out pretty easy. But wow, I was surprised by how stuck that was. I ended up getting covered in mud and uh, Terry did as well and it's just a mess but luckily we were able to get that out of there get him back on the road if you see the front uh, u-joint broke off so uh, he doesn't have four-wheel drive at the moment but he's able to still drive it on the two-wheel drive so that's still good but man he said he tried getting it out last night as well and obviously it's not gonna come out easy if it was stuck that bad but wow, that, that was amazing. I'm glad to get that recorded for you guys. If you guys like that one, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, thank, thank you for all you guys' support. And uh, please share it with your friends and comment below. And I read all the comments that you guys write. So thank you very much. See you on the next one.